We've all seen it in movies and in real life. Someone is getting bullied. The bully is the big bad person and the victim gets hurt in some way. We sympathise with the victim and make sure they're okay and the bully might get a detention or a worse punishment. But have you ever thought that there might be two victims in this scenario? Have you ever thought what might be happening to the bully? Now I'm not trying to take anything away from the victim because bullying is a really bad situation that no one should have to go through. However, in doing research to find out how to prevent bullying, I found little to no information about the fact that bullying situations are not always as they seem. But perhaps we need to focus more on helping them so they don't victimise more people. Did you know that bullies are 60% more likely to have a criminal record by the age of 24? If we all had some awareness of this, we could reduce that number dramatically. There are many reasons that people bully and many factors that go into these reasons. Bullying can make people gain attention and popularity and someone might want this because they're not getting enough attention from home, for example, and this could be because of something like their parents are fighting. If something is happening at home, they could be angry about this, and bullying is their outlet for their anger. I have had personal experience with people who've had poor mental health and how it makes them act, so there is no reason that this doesn't happen to anyone else, and the result of this is them bullying. The reason people might bully might have nothing to actually do with them but how they're brought up. If someone is taught that physical violence or to abuse someone is the only way to solve a problem, this will most likely lead to them bullying and many other problems in the future. A bully has been categorised as a blustering, quarrelsome, overbearing person who habitually um, badges or imitates smaller or weaker people. I don't think this should be the definition of a bully because it points all the blame at them and doesn't show that there's anything else going on. Not only does it point all the blame at them, it also makes them out to be a flat-faced person who's not a good individual. I think the definition should bring awareness that there is something else going on deeper, not just someone who's not a good person. In a situation where someone is getting bullied, it should be dealt with like not just it's all the bully's fault, but there is something else going on. The person who's dealing with it should ask them what's going on and why are they doing this. Bullying is not always as it seems because, and you never know what's going on in other people's lives. I believe that bullies should still get punished because it's never okay to bully, but they're more likely not to do it again if they've gotten help for the reason they did it in the first place. So I ask you, in a situation where someone is getting bullied, absolutely help the victim first and make sure they're safe, then make sure the bully gets help too, and this will make for a far better community for all. Thank you.